What is good? We're back with the Madden 06 Browns franchise, and we're sitting at 14 and 0. Oh man, two games away from perfection. Two games away. Dante Stallworth, he's still rehabbing from his injury. He, he messed up his back pretty bad, which we don't need him right now. We're 14 and 0, so he can take his time. Here's our defensive touchdowns. We have nine defensive touchdowns this year. That is ridiculous. We are balling. So we're in Pittsburgh, and we're going to be taking on the Steelers. So that will most definitely be interesting. So we get the ball to start. Asante Samuel, he's going to take the kickoff return. First down and 10. Portis, he's going to get the ball. He's going to bounce it outside, spins out across the 35. Second down and two coming up. Vic looking to throw. They cover the flat routes. We try to take off with him, and we're going to pick up the first down, but the ball's out. Adam Snyder recovers, though. Good news. First down, Vic. He's going to drop back, finds a wide open lane. He's going to run, spins upfield. He's up to about the 45-yard line. They had an injury. The guy broke his thumb. He's out two weeks. I think it was one of their D linemen. Portis picks up the first down right there. Play action, trying to run a boot pass. Trying to set our feet and throw, but we're his, we're letting that go, and that alters the throw. Second down, Vic looking for Gates coming across the middle. That was a dangerous throw, but Gates goes up and gets it. Third down now, Vic looking. He's under pressure, gets it away to Gates again, who brings it in, and oh, he gets lit up, and the ball comes out. Oh, no, and Stabler picks it up. Oh, man, he took a shot. Look at that. Antonio Gates got lit up. I'm not even going to lie. So the Steelers have the ball now. First down, Atkins. He's going to get a nice run. Second down and three. Atkins gets the ball again. Third down and one, and we stuff him. They try to run. They think it's sweet. It's not. First down after that. Vic drops back. Taking a shot to Gates down the left side. Incomplete. And Michael Vick hurt his foot. So Aaron Rodgers coming in. Second down and ten. Play action. Rodgers taking a shot deep to Randy Moss, and he just overthrows him. Third down now, handoff is to Ronnie Brown. They're going to shut that down. First down and 10. Elliott drops back. Look, and that's incomplete. Second down coming up. Elliott drops back. Looking for his man Chambers. He's got him. Third down and three. Elliott looking. He's rolling to his right. Breaks the tackle, but Sean Merriman's going to come through, and they're going to give him credit for the sack because it was a loss of yardage. First down, Greg Jones gets the handoff, putting him in the backfield, trying some different packages out, seeing what we can do. Greg Jones did play some running back at Florida State in his day, from my understanding. Right there, probably should have just ran, but we were trying to dump it to Vincent Jackson, but Gates came, and it was just it was just a mess. Greg Jones getting another solid run. Third down and three. Vic rolling to his left, looking. He's going to take off with it. Doesn't want to risk throwing an incomplete pass again. He gets the first down. But he stays down. He hurt his hand. He's able to get up under his own power and walk it off. We're already on the sideline, so not pretty convenient that he got hurt. I mean, unfortunate that he got hurt, if you get what I'm saying, but, like, convenient the fact that he was at least on our sideline. So Aaron Rodgers comes in. Vincent Jackson can't catch right there. Michael Vick's hand's bruised. We're going to pull him out of the game. It's probably his throwing hand and probably can't grip the ball and whatnot, so we'll keep Aaron Rodgers in. Rogers looking to throw again. Looking for Jones. Jones brings it in. First down for Cleveland. So first down and goal. Handoff is the Porters. Bounces it. Makes the guy miss. Falls forward. He's up to about the two. Second and goal coming up. Give it to Porters again. He spins up field. He's going to be short of the end zone again. But third down and goal from the one. We got to get it. We give it to Porters and he's in. And we're on the board. Touchdown Browns. Atkins. He's going to get the kickoff return. And Atkins gets a solid kickoff return for Asante Samuel. Jumps on his back. First down, and we jump off sides. Thank you, Justin Tuck. Put the ball on the 41-yard line. Elliott looking to throw. He's rolling to his right. He's going to be sacked by Burgess. Merriman misses at first. Burgess seals the deal. Atkins on second down. He gets a hit stick from Sean Taylor. Third down and seven coming up. We send him to Solana Blitz. He's not going to get there. Elliott looking, scanning the field. He's going to try to take off in. Again, sacked by Derek Burgess. So we get the ball back. Handoff is the Porter. He bounces outside, makes a guy miss, spins again, and then he gets tackled after about a six-yard gain. Second down and four. Rodgers looking to throw, looking for Ben Watson. That's severely underthrown and picked off by Chris Hope, who was a Brown for one year. 
season one, that is to be exact. He picked us off in the end zone, and or took it to the end zone in the Super Bowl one time. And yeah, I don't really like him because he had a horrible attitude and he didn't want to resign with me after season one. His loss because he hasn't won a Super Bowl since. Elliot, he's going to get sacked on third down. We sent true font on a blitz and they ran play action. Big mistake. So they ended up being out of field goal range. They had to punt under two minutes in the first half. Rodgers handed off to Portis. And this run in the Portis is working. It really is. Now we try to get him with a play action and we can't even get the pass off because we're getting hit as soon as we try to set our feet. Rodgers looking for Jones. That's picked off again by Chris Hope. That's his second of the first half and Rodgers is mad. This is not good. Elliott dumps it short to Chambers. Okay. And, you know, the Steelers got to hurry because it's 122 and ticking, you know. You know how it is. No huddle. Got to move with a purpose. Elliott looking across the middle. Chambers brings it in. Still going no huddle. Elliott rolls to his right. He's going to find Chris Chambers. Breaks the tackle. He's up to about the 19. First down 10 play action. Elliott looking. Caught by Chambers. First and goal play action. Elliott end zone. Knocked away good defense by Sean Merriman. Second down and goal play action. Elliott, he's getting sacked. Tuck gets back there. The play action did not work. Third down. Elliott looking to the end zone. No, he's going to come back to Atkins, and Atkins is going to juke his way in. So now the Steelers have tied the game up. 35 seconds left. We're going to put in Portis, you know, try to get what we can with him. Move in the scoring range. Rogers looking, he's going to find Ronnie Brown out of the backfield. Ronnie Brown gets out of bounds too. Smart play to dive, just to be certain. Now we try to play action, go into Jones deep. Can we get him? No, good play by the DB. Second down and 10. Trying to hit the back out of the backfield. Rogers looking for Portis. Portis brings it in. He's running, he gets tripped up. We have to burn a timeout. We still have two left, 16 seconds. Rogers was banged up, so JT O'Sullivan comes in. And JT O'Sullivan finds Vincent Jackson, who turns up field. They sent a blitz and we got it to the open man. And Vincent Jackson turns up field. O'Sullivan rolling, looking, trying to get to Jackson when he clears the defenders, but he doesn't clear in time. It's picked off by Fraser. He jumped it. And now, going into the second half, Atkins, he's got the ball. He gets stuffed. Elliott, he's going to find Salam. So it's third and short. Empty backfield. Elliott, his, he's letting that go. Can't get it to the tight end, who was wide open. So first down stretch play to Portis. He's going to try to bounce it outside. Not going to work on that play. It works most of the time because we like to run that zone and get him on the edge because Portis is fast in this game. But it didn't work there. Right there looking for Gates. He brings it in. He toe taps. That was pretty darn close. But they didn't challenge it. So that's why I was like, all right, we got to snap it quick. Rogers looking. Fires overthrows Randy Moss by a lot. And that's his fourth pick of, I should know, the fourth pick of the game, the third thrown by Rogers. Because O'Sullivan threw that one at the end of the half. Elliott setting up the snap screen in the chambers. We shut that down. Second down coming up. Counter play. Atkins, he's getting tackled in the backfield. Justin Tuck making the play. Third and 14 coming up. Elliott looking to throw. He's going down. Brings up fourth down. They got a punt. First down, stretch play. Porters, he bounces it out. He's going to get up field, spins up field. He's up across the 50. He's still going up to about the 47. First down, hand off is the Porters. He gets stuffed. Second down and 13 coming up. Rogers looking to throw. Kind of moving to his left. Looking. Goes back to Gates. And that's picked off by Stabler. And that's it. I pulled Rogers after this because that's his fourth pick. I'd rather go with JT O'Sullivan and run the ball, of course, and Rogers, whose confidence is deteriorated because he's thrown four picks. So, yeah, that's how I feel. That was tipped. Could have been picked off, but we didn't pick it off. Right there, we're going to find Salam. That's fourth down. I mean, we have six turnovers as a team, and we're tied with this team. That should tell you something. We turn the ball over six times and we're still tied. That's crazy. Take it down in five. Brown covers up the ball, keeps on going, and that's going to be a first down. So all we got to do is just keep running this ball. Throw if we have to. Portis first down. Okay, he almost popped that one. Take it down in seven. We're looking to throw. Looking for Greg Jones. And, uh, yeah, 65 overall quarterback. What do you expect? Third down. Giving it to Frank Gore. Frank Gore is going to pick up the first down right here. This three-headed monster. We got Portis, Brown, and Gore. We're doing our thing. Who needs the pass? I see O'Sullivan gets leveled right there. Second down. We're going to hand it off to Portis. Spins up field. Okay, he's got the first down, I think, on that play, too. Yes, he does. Beautiful spot. Now it's the fourth quarter. O'Sullivan looking. They're on Jones. 
They're on Gates. They're on Ben Watson. We're not going to force it. He runs. He coughs the ball up, but luckily he loses the football as he's falling out of bounds, so we're good. Second down, Portis. He's going to get it. Bulls Chris Hope over, violating him like I want him to. No weird stuff. That kind of sounded a little weird. That came out wrong, but you know what I mean. And Portis, here's another run on second down after the incompletion. Third down now. We're going to try to take a fade shot to the ends on the Jones, and it's knocked away, almost picked off. And we're going to have to bring out Matt Bryant for a field goal. To take the lead, the kick is up, and right down the middle is good. Elliott, he's going to try to run with it. He's going to actually pick up about five yards on that run. Second down, approaching. Play action. Elliott looking to throw. Gets it away before he gets leveled, and that probably is why the pass is incomplete. He was pretty much getting leveled right after he let it go. Third down, that's batted down at the line, and that brings up fourth down. They also shanked the punt, so that's why we have such great field goal position. Without a midfield logo on this Pittsburgh field, it's hard to tell, and that's probably because the Pitt Panthers are currently playing on the field. They didn't start painting the logo yet. That's what happens. That's what they do in real life. The Pitt Panthers actually play at Heinz Field, the University of Pittsburgh, for those that uh, were confused. So, yeah, that's why it's only Pittsburgh, and then you usually don't see a midfield, and they have the... Uh, slants in the uh, other the slanted lines in the other end zone but anyway enough about that back to this back to nfl football not college football ronnie brown's gonna pick up the first down right there closing in on a two-minute warning o'sullivan gets it to jones okay that's all we need to do to get the ball to the running backs and space out of the backfield that's all we gotta do portis he's gonna get stopped right there they burn their first time out. We give it to Frank Gore. He's going to run. He's going to be brought down short of the first down marker. They burn their second time out. So we're going to go for it because I know they can't go 90 yards and score on us because their offense is terrible. They really are that terrible. I'd rather turn the ball over on downs down here. They give them the ball with better field position. So we picked up the first down. Now we burn their last time out. So second down, we give it to Portis. Or she third down, excuse me. So fourth down a goal. We got to go for it. Greg Jones in touchdown. Okay, we're up by 10 points. So first down after we shank the ball out of bounds, they get the ball on the 40. Elliott's sacked. So now the Steelers have to hurry up and line up. They're down by 10, and their hopes have pretty much diminished. They're trying to line up. They can snap the ball here. For some reason, they're delaying snapping it, and I guess they just give up. And we're going to win 17-7. Very ugly, but we win. <laughs> so one win away from perfection. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable, but hey. I've seen stranger things happen in Madden. Portis, 115 yards. Brown, 42. Vic, 21. Jones, 19. Gore, 18. O'Sullivan, 3. Everybody pitching in on the ground game today. So, yeah, I used to be a guy that ran the football quite a bit when I was a little kid, when I was a youngster, because that's all we did in youth football was run the ball. Once, once I got into high school, you know, I started learning a little more about offense. That's why you see me always airing it out with my franchises. You know, like I said, the, the, the OG Kyle... The OG KJ, you know, I was a little boy. I used to run the ball on folks. Didn't matter. Just give me a running back. Make sure he's got over 90 speed and some solid break tackle, and I can make some work happen. You know, I can make some magic happen. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We had seven sacks on that boy, Elliott. Their offense was terrible. They scored running no huddle stuff. That goes to show you. So, anyway, we get out of here ugly. So, yeah, one more game from perfection.